So thus far, we've been using this logo. See, it says Britney's right here. And if you're starting a company or business, most likely you probably already have your own logo or you're working on making your own logo. So how would you add your own logo to the top here? And that's a great question. What you do is on the left, instead of using pages, you would go to design. So go to design. And then at the top, there's logo and title. Okay, so here you have um, the site title and tagline, and and uh, for the tagline, um, it's only used in certain templates. But you could say like um, the bags of Paris, because I guess she's making uh, bags right in uh, in Paris, and then um, you here can actually add uh, the logo and the favicon. Okay, and also you can um, add your social sharing logo here, which is an option. Now, the favicon, I'm just going to really quickly go over what this is, is actually, let's open up a new window here. Now, let's take a look at my website, Virtue Broker, okay? When you go there, you'll notice up here in the, in the actual browser search window, there's a little V. Do you see that? That's the favicon. Or let's go to Google. Start typing in Google. There's their favicon. Okay? So that is why oops, that is why you can actually upload that here and um, you would be able to, uh, that should automatically go into there for most browsers. Now it's not going to work on all browsers but the main ones it should work. And then let's go ahead and upload a logo. We'll actually do that here. We're going to add the logo from Virtue Broker. Okay. It looks like that's probably not the right logo <laughs> because it's probably not the right um, uh, uh, quality actually, uh, but that's okay. So what you could do is you could click edit. Okay, and you'd be able to go in here and actually change it, um, whiten it, sharpness, effects, lighting. So you could do a lot of stuff with your logo here. Okay, go ahead and save. And then when you save up here at the left, you'll notice things are going to change. See this? Now Virtue Broker is here. The logo and um, instead of uh, instead of uh, it, where it said Britney before and I know this is not virtue broker this is Britney's bags from Paris but this just gives you an idea okay there it is and um, you see how it says the bags of Paris underneath let's say you wanted to get rid of that just exit that out and then click Save now you just have uh, now you're just going to have your logo. You have to refresh sometimes. That's, there you go. So now you just have the logo itself, okay, at the top of your page. And in the next section, we're actually going to get into how you could change the um, the size of the logo and and such, and actually really start messing with the style editor, okay.